So, I finally managed to dig my way out of the supply room that Mark and Derek locked me in. Something about a timeout after declaring every game in the universe to not be Shining Force, but I'll get the last laugh. Sure, I haven't eaten anything in five days. And all I've had to drink during that period have been hand soap and the runoff from a case of pre-moistened scrubbing wipes. But I will have my revenge. In my absence, Derek went and did a top 10 N64 games and didn't even include Pokemon Snap or Mischief Makers? Fine. I'm coming right back at him, Spanky. Here it is. The top three armadillos in gaming. My apologies to Mighty the Armadillo, but if you can't even get into Sonic Heroes, there's no room on this list for you, pal. Get it? Dylan! Because he's an armadillo. Oh, the puns, they don't stop the sure shot. Dylan's the spaghetti scented mercenary protecting the Wild West, or some vaguely desert-ish western-flavored area, from ambulatory rock monsters looking to rustle up some livestock. Dylan's got a number of tricks up his, uh, lack of sleeves. Maybe in the gloves? Or under that bandana? Somewhere, he's got the capability to build defense turrets and strengthen the settlement doors, making his particular role kind of a tower defense mediator. Anyway, he's there to roll up the marauding grocks by rolling into the oncoming hordes, occasionally breaking form to mix it up with some melee combos. Plus, dude rocks a sweet hat. That's enough to get him into Smash Brothers as an assist trophy and get him on this list. Get it? Armored! And these puns are the best part about this. With the move to animals rather than just strangely designed humanoid robots, Mega Man X tapped into the mighty power of the armadillo to fuel this outing. Armored armadillos as robust a beast as can be found in the game, owing to, follow me here, armor plating. It's about a mile thick, can absorb incoming attacks, and release said stored energy, kind of like that gigaburst blast bomb whatchamacallit. Not to mention all the gravity-defying bouncing around the room. After that, it barely matters that his stationary attack is... Um... He pops a cannon out of his head and shoots small, slow-moving projectiles. You don't need offense with defense like that. Unless, of course, you've actually got the spark shock and can just blast all of that armor right off. Then he's kind of a sitting duck. Armadillo. Thing. Screw puns, Gunts don't got time for puns. By far, the top armadillo in gaming is this beast. Gunts the Walking Tank. You find him assisting the eccentric Dr. Croc and acting as his guinea pig... er... armadillo, only to leave him behind in Rindo while you go chill with some bird people. A couple chapters later, you find him in his steam-powered battle suit terrorizing... a... sheep hen, whereupon he informs you that all the kinks are worked out of the system and he's ready to become a member of the Shining Force. And you should put him in your team immediately, because right from the jump, he's a beast. Sure, he's got fairly low HP and the movement radius of a limping clam, but those are offset by A, the highest defense in the game, and B, the mobility ring, acquired just a couple fights after he joins the force. Not only is he a near impenetrable wall of metal and heat, but he hits like a truck, as evidenced by his promotion to Steam Baron, whereupon he attacks by flipping a set of wheels out of his back hatch and ramming sh Gunts is hands, spears, rolling shields, and 10 gallon hats down the number one armadillo in gaming. Wear that with pride, brother. <laughs>